love the business. You know, I love the most is just when you walk out and you get that pop and that cheer. And it's like today, I just have to get it in a different way. So it's my wife says it about me my, now that I need that attention. But um, no, I love the business. I love the people I associated with. I learned so much from this business. I learned so much from the people I've met. And I want people to feel the same about how they met with me. I hope that was a good experience for all the talent out there that came across, that they learned something from me as I did from them. And I just wish they all kind of get peace with themselves. I hate that they have to come out with these bad little one-liners, <clears throat> please wrestle free, or I'm a bad guy because that's not what I wish upon everybody else. And <clears throat> I want you to know I do love the business, and but that's sometimes you just got to let things go. It was the greatest time of my life. I mean, it, it you know, what Stallion done for me and my family by giving me a place to pay my bills was, was man, I could never thank him for that. To me, I owe everything to them. They were what every independent organization wanted to be. You were the greatest company ever. <laughs> I mean, they gave me the opportunity to perform and train and everything else where nobody else wouldn't. To me, it was one of the best organizations that I could ever work for. It gave me more opportunities, and I learned from two of the best in the whole wrestling business, and that was George South and uh, the Italian Stallion. Doing stuff that, that independent shows didn't do then. You knew that you could go and work three, four nights a week, every week, every month, for years. I think it should be remembered as an opportunity, regardless of what people say. Please wrestle for free, hot dog and a handshake, you hear all that stuff, regardless of what anybody says. Some of the biggest names in the business should at least say thank you. I loved being there, I loved being on the road, I loved hanging out with those guys. Pro Wrestling Federation as a Learning, uh, learning in their life, a uh, time that they learned how the business came about and how they learned about themselves. I think people learn about themselves, how they really are and how they, you know, how the business really is. Along this journey, if I stepped on toes and made a lot of people mad, I never will ask for forgiveness because I promise you that I was right. It was a good time, it was a bad time. You know, no place you go don't have, everything's good and bad. You have a good days, you have a bad days, just like any business. If I hadn't have went and and done all the things that I did with them, I wouldn't be where I am today. Stayed and George together had something. There was something because they knew how to make money. Even with all the ups and downs and, and the, the 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 drama and everything else that was going on, it really was it one of the best learning experiences I've, I could possibly ever hope to have. I think it was great. I think a lot of guys got a lot from it. And I think if it wasn't for PWF, guys wouldn't be where they are today. It was a happening federation for a long time, so people can remember it, because there was some really good shows and a lot of talent come out of that federation. I hope simply that they remember that we, I mean, we love the fans. I mean, it sounds corny nowadays, because nothing's about the fans, but we really had a group of people uh, wrestling fans that, that were like family. The talent on the roster, uh, the guys that normally worked continuously, uh, that, that, that's what made BWF. It wasn't just one guy, one it was two guys, it was out everybody. I wish it was still here, you know. Uh, we did a lot of fun things. It was a good thing back then, and I wish it was still around. PWF, it's really the business, it's not a spot show or in a pet show, it's really the, it's a federation, it's became, you learn. It was the greatest time of my life. I mean, I owe everything to Italian stay and It wasn't something I did every month. It was something I did every week. It was something I did every, if I wasn't home, chances are I was at a PWF show. Guys will say, oh, you were Stallion's boy. Yeah, I was Stallion's boy. Whatever he told me to do, I did it. Because I felt obligated to him because they gave me a gift of what I wanted to do my whole life. Other guys don't see it that way. But nobody will never dog sound George in my presence. I don't care who they are. Because if it weren't for PWF, they wouldn't be where they're at today. They had a very big roar in the towns that they ran. They really made their mark on the business. We didn't do everything perfect. I mean, we had no clue. Nowadays, if I wanted to start a company, I could go back and say, okay, this is the way they did it wrong. I'm not going to do it. But when the PWF started, 
there was no blueprint. There was no way to say, okay, you don't treat armory people like this. You don't treat coaches like this. You don't treat, we just jumped in it with both feet and, and just ran with it. The business that we dreamed about, that we brought together, we developed it and it just ended. If we could relive the 90s again with PWF, whether I'd be on board and pay $50 booking fee every night, I'd love it.